Okay, we're going to talk about cutting feathers in curved areas. Um, this piece has a curve to it. This is part of the chest feathers. This is part B6. So what I have done, you can see I've gone to the front with my stylus and I have traced the lines on the feathering so that I know which way the feathers need to go. Then I, when you turn it over, you can see those lines. I would prefer to cut this from the back because I can see the lines on the paper. The thing you have to realize about cutting curves is that your scissors are straight, your paper is straight, and you're cutting a curve. So the best way to do this is to do one short, one short, and then one long. And as you do the long, curve your scissors. So you can do short, short, and then a long one that follows the curve that you've marked. Then you can come back and do a couple of long ones. And then you'll go back to your to your short, short, a little bit longer than the first one, and then your long one. What you want to do is not cut all the way through so that it drops out. So up here you can see my curve line is here. Okay, and I'm a little off the curve. So I'm going to come up here and do a short, a short, and then a long and curve my scissors. Now I'm back in line with the line that I drew. So we're going to do another short, and another short, and then a long. And at, some, at the middle of this chest piece, the feathers start to go the other way. So when that happens, I'm going to turn it over. So we're going to do a short, a short, and then a long and a short, and a short, and then a long. Now here, we're going to have, it's going to start turning the other way. So I'm going to do another long, and another long, and then I'm going to turn it over. So now I can see the lines on my piece to tell which way the feathers are going. So down here, I'm going to do a short one, and another short one, and then about halfway up. And then a short one, and a little bit longer, and then all the way up and then a short one, and a short little bit longer, and then all the way up. And the whole time I'm curving the piece a little bit to get my feathers to go that way. So we're going to do a short one, a short one, and a little bit longer one. Don't, don't rush this. A short one, a short one, and then a long one. You see my, my cut pieces are going at a curve, just like the feather is. Okay, so you can see my pieces are, my cuts are curving, so we're going to do a short one, a short one, and then another long one, and a short one, a short one, and then a long one, and then we're going to keep doing this until I get back to the center, and when I get back to the center, they're not curving so much, so I'm going to cut them just as regular, and then when you get to the center, you're just going to split that last one. So the object is to get all of your feathers cut without splitting them off. Now that I have this cut, my feathers are going every which way there is. So I'm going to turn it over on the back and I'm going to take my shaping tool and I'm going to start to push in a little bit oops, oops, to try and get my feathers to come back in line. And then I'm going to gently go up to the edge. You see how they're all starting to go back in line? They're not going every which way. And then we're going to come on this side and do the same thing and hope that our feathers are going to line up. And then I'm going to turn it over. And because this piece is curved, I'm going to curve it a little bit this way. And then I'm going to turn it over and curve it a little bit the other way. So if you push down on it a little bit, these pieces will start to kick up toward the outer edge, which is what we want. We want them to be cut this way. So now I have this little chesty piece here. And my, my last thing is that I usually take my fingers and kind of go back through them. because we want it to look like there's little feathers there. But we want them to follow the curve of the body. So 
now I have this little piece. I'll show you where this goes. This piece goes right here. So if I match my edge and I match my feathers, there you go. Now I have a little feather piece. And I've already done the piece that goes under it. So that piece will go on first. Then this piece will go on over the top of it. And I have, oops, about half of a feathered chest. Okay, all right.